right, well, welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Living Legend Barbecue. What I have for you today is I will be cooking chicken wings on the Weber kettle. Now, the cook isn't that exciting. I'm just doing some frozen chicken wings on there, but I really want to show you the Vortex uh, cooking system, how it works with the kettle, how I light my charcoal, you know, simple stuff like that. Hope you enjoy. All right, well, before it gets too dark here, I thought I'd show you some of the things that you need for this. Here's the uh, the star of the show. That is the, the Vortex. The uh, the one and only. This is not a knockoff. Hopefully I can find a picture of it when it was brand new, but I've used this thing and used it well. Now i got a propane torch. got the Weber charcoal starter. The Weber lighter cubes and the uh, Kingsford Caddy with the Kingsford charcoal inside. So I haven't cooked on charcoal in about three weeks. So I guess that will be a test to, of the Caddy. Let's check it out. All right, well I have my charcoal starter, my Weber charcoal starter, uh, filled up with charcoal. Go have the uh, two lighter cubes right there. And let's light the torch and get this bad boy going. So, you may say, why do you use lighter cubes? Valid question. I've used paper. Um, I guess paper. I've never been in the, the lighter fluid crowd. You know, some of you guys may say that using these lighter cubes is a little cheating, or it's, you know, it's a chemical product also, but just using two of them, uh, no lighter fluid required. And it will get these things uh, white hot anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes. So I found them really enjoyable. They work great. And that's why I like my charcoal. So we're waiting for the charcoal to fire up here. Um, just throw another uh, side of the coin at you. You can, if you don't have a charcoal starter, you can light these directly into the vortex. And yeah, it works okay. I'm, I'm a fan of the uh, the Weber charcoal starter myself. Uh, it seems to work better for me. And as you see, as you first start charcoal on this thing, you will have some heavy smoke rolling out here. So that will all die down in a bit. And uh, we're shooting for white hot charcoal. And again, I'm using Kingsford charcoal tonight. So we'll we'll be back when we're dumped in the vortex. All right. We're real close now to finishing up and um, you can see they're getting white on the top just got a few few more to go there well, let's talk about the Weber uh, grill rake I guess it's the charcoal rake technical term but this is probably the best $13 purchase I've ever made so I'll put the link in the description but for all you, all you charcoal cookers out there, this thing, it works fantastic. Um, you can separate, say if you're going indirect to direct, nice and smooth, works good. Good for cleaning the, uh, the edges of the kettle too, after I cook or before I cook. It works great. Check it out. Alright, well, we're in full darkness now, so let me try to show you my positioning. Um, so I go three in from the back, and on the 22 inch kettle, three in from the front. I just kind of eyeball the sides. So I'm going to dump my charcoal here, and we should be ready to go. All right, charcoal has been dumped. Wish I had another hand, that would have been an exciting video. But again, I haven't used this for about three weeks, so I'm going to put the lid on for about ten minutes, clean up these grill grates, and we're going to get cooking. Just a quick video here. Does the vortex heat up? Oh, I think it went a little over. Oh, it's one over a thousand. The answer is yes it does. Let's get cooking. Alright, well we're all loaded up. 
about ready to put the lid on. Just wanted to show you a little before. And uh, you know, I'm not going to open this thing up for another half hour, but I am going to do something uh, during the cook. And I will explain that to you here in a bit. Alright, so there's only one thing I'm doing uh, during this cook. So every eight minutes, all I do is I just take it and rotate it a quarter turn. The uh, reason for that is I just want to get the the smoke flow from the charcoal uh, just going over evenly uh, everything in there. That's it. Check in eight minutes and we should be done. Alright, well, one of the goals here is to show successes and failures. If you guys can see that, I have totally ever overdone these guys. Yeah, maybe not totally. I had one pop at 195, which I would say is very overdone. Yeah, we're in the 180s. Let's pull these guys and eat them up. Let me uh, get the. Actually, let me get some water on here. Those are the barbecue ones there. Actually, they don't look too bad. Very crisp. We'll say that. A little bit overdone. You know, power of the vortex in 32 minutes. Probably about eight minutes too long. All right, a little quick recap here of the frozen chicken wings on the Weber kettle using the Vortex uh, cooking device. So as you saw today, I did it, I had it set up indirect, direct. Um, you can also do it direct in that same setup there. Um, if you invert it, you can do an infrared radiant heat, like for doing a, uh, a beer can chicken. You can stick it down in there. You can also do indirect, which I've done before and it's pretty darn cool because you can actually stick a drip pan in it and put the meat over the top. So more of those videos coming in the future. Uh, I just wanted to kind of break the ice, show you the vortex. Make sure you get the original vortex. Hey, check it out. I'll put the link down below. Hope you enjoyed.